Now for the purpose of this demonstration I'm going to record sound using the Zoom H1 um, recorder as a sort of like a pre-recorder, pre-amplifier, um, so that we've got some consistency. The camera itself is on a, a fixed gain uh, and um, so we can hopefully uh, uh, test things on a level playing field. I'm going to be using the NEE newer microphones which you can probably see now hopefully that I have mounted in a little pen top and so they're opposite each other uh, pointing in the opposite direction there's a, a little clip at the back that uh, we can fasten to a, a shirt or whatever and um, then um, I can cover them if it's really windy with um, a, a piece of fur fabric which is which looks like that I've, um, I'm no good at sewing so uh, I've actually stapled it into a sort of a, a closed end cylinder and uh, if we put the microphones, ooh, making a pig's ear of this, right, if we put the microphones into the fluffy dead cat, my goodness, that does look fluffy, but that will withstand Force 9 Gale sort of thing. Let's just show you what happens. Now, the other end of the microphones, there's two Obviously there's two wires coming out of the microphones and we now have two stereo jack plugs. They are also known as tip, sleeve and ring, TSR. So my thought was that whilst each microphone's mono they're wired to a stereo plug so if I just put them into a, a stereo 2 into 1 adapter then like that then we would get perfect stereo but um, when you actually try it out Excuse me. It's actually mono. So what's happening? Well, what? Let's answer my own question. What's actually happening is the wiring in here, the way it connects up, it's shorting out. So if you use, for example, a Y adapter like that, which is designed for headphones, splitting headphones, it doesn't work. But if you use a specialist Y adapter, which looks like that, it comes out to a stereo plug but these are individual mono sockets and because of the way these sockets are wired and it doesn't work with all mono sockets but it does with these it will actually end up producing a true stereo sound out of the TSRR Output. So when I plug it in now, and we, we've got our dead cat here, can you hear that on camera left? Can you hear what it is yet? On camera right? 
So camera left, camera right, and we've got a true stereo microphone, which then if I pop under my shirt is nicely insulated from clothing rustle uh, by the uh, dead cat. It also is well shielded from wind and it produces a nice clear um, signal and clear sound uh, for recording purposes. So that's my solution to buy one of these specialist Y connectors which is described as a stereo mini jack to two mono min, uh, uh, jack sockets, mini sockets. And if it's of interest, um, these uh, came off eBay and there are uh, Pro Signal is the branding and it's PSG 03429 and why everything nowadays is made in China but uh, that's the bit of jiggery pokery to give you um, stereo now there's one other thing I can show you however and I've got the one set of dead cats under my shirt at the moment well of course when we've got these newer microphones we um, have also got uh, five of the jolly things uh, for the bargain price of under a fiver so when you have uh, uh, microphones aplenty you could in fact have two lots of stereo pairs now the um, possible value of that is that if you're not bothered about mixing the stereo you can get your wire adapter plug in your two stereo signals plug it again into the and now miraculously oh no, that's um, so that's camera left, you see, that's camera right, and because it's gone through the Y adapter, then we've still got true stereo, but we've now got, uh, I'll just speak into this one as well, two microphones, um, so that if we were doing an interview, we could have two people mic'd up. The other thing is I have been experimenting with uh, different material for dead cats. This is more of a, a dead mouse material. It's shorter pile fur, um, which makes a more compact setup. Uh, I'm sorry about the handling noise, but it at least shows that we're doing things live. And again, that makes quite a nice, neat sort of device that you can stuff under your shirt or stuff under your victim's interviewee shirts. And um, again, it produces quite a, a nice, high quality stereo sound uh, with reasonable attenuation. Now, I'm blowing on the microphone it's not completely immune to wind noise but it's jolly near and if you look at the performance for example of the lovely uh, zoom microphone so I'll just unplug that so that it's now working on the built-in microphones you'll see that as soon as I blow in the direction of these microphones you'll see that I do get the terrible wind noise effect and in fact even 
when you move the recorder rapidly, you'll get a, a wind noise effect. So, whilst this may, um, as a microphone, this may be uh, the most sensitive and crisp and beautiful cardioid response that uh, you would want. Um, it's again worthy of some thought. Perhaps it's worth a dead cat. Oh, and here's one I made earlier. <laughs> and um, it comes in several uh, styles. Um, let's see. Oh yeah. yeah. I'll take that one off. And there we are, the bearskin style dead cat. <laughs> well, that, look, that looks grotesque. You stick that under somebody's nose and they want to bite it off or uh, adopt it. Ah. And they said I was mad. Mad, I tell you. Uh, I hope you're enjoying these. Um, little videos that's enough from me have a nice day with David over and out